If you have any leftover bread, then bread and butter pudding is a delicious way to use that up. I've got here about six or seven slices of a sourdough loaf um, that's gone stale. So what I'm going to do is I've got Pyrex here. I've cut it up into slices and buttered it really generously. So I've probably used about 50 grams of butter. And then I want to put some dried fruit and it really is up to you what dried fruit you use. I'm using sultanas. You could um, also spread your pieces of bread with jam if you liked, and that would be equally delicious. And then some soft brown sugar. If you don't have soft brown sugar, don't go out and buy it. This is supposed to be a way of using leftovers. So if whatever sugar you happen to have in the house will be fine. And you can see I'm not weighing it. I'm using a couple of tablespoons, um, really just judging it by eye. And you could add spices to this if you like, cinnamon, mixed spice. And then I'm going to go in with the other slices on top. So it's like a jigsaw. And then here I've got 500 grams of, of full fat milk and three eggs, three large eggs, beaten together to make this beautiful custard. Okay, so that's going in. And now it needs to sit and soak that up. Um, and it needs to sit for at least half an hour. Okay, soaking that milk and egg mixture up. And then again on top, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more sugar. If you have demerara, that would be great. So it provides like a nice crunchiness. Oh dear, spilling it everywhere. And then you could sprinkle nutmeg on top, a bit more cinnamon, mixed spice if you use that. Um, you really can vary it. You can add some um, berries inside in there instead of, instead of the dried fruit. Vary it according to your own tastes. So I'm going to cover it and let it sit now for at least half an hour before I bake it. And then I'm going to bake it at 180 degrees centigrade for 30 to 35 minutes until it's got a beautifully set custard and a beautiful crusty top.